Thanks and welcome to another uh, preseason football coaches show here on KLBY at Open Spaces Sports. Anthony Blair, the head football coach of the Shyland Cougars, is with us. And coach, what do you expect? I'm looking forward to the season and uh, see what happens. I'm pretty excited to see the kids come out and perform. Okay, folks, if you want to learn more and find out more about Cougar football, all you need to do is go to OpenSpacesSports.com. Well, Coach, uh, let's talk a little bit about Cougar football. First of all, this is your first year as the head coach following Max Kelts, who you've worked with for the last several years. Uh, how much of what Coach Kelts has done in the past will you try to bring to the table? I've, le I've learned a lot in the last three years from him. Uh, he kind of ran the same offense as I ran back in Nebraska, and uh, I look to do the same thing, probably about a 50-50 run pass, and... Uh, Look to go power and and get after it. You know, uh, one of the key one of the key elements for high school football, particularly I think an eight man, but I guess it's true even an eleven man is is numbers. How many kids you got out? How many kids are out there this year for your team? Uh, we have thirteen kids out, and I'm hoping for a couple more. I'm not exactly sure, but we have thirteen in practice today. Now, when you uh, have those thirteen kids, uh, where does your leadership come from on these uh, this team? Uh, the seniors, that we've got a good group of seniors. We lost a big group last year, but the seniors that we have this year are really stepping up so far, and, and uh, the seniors will be the main ones that will lead the team. You know, uh, when you take a look uh, at your schedule throughout the entire season, it pretty much stays the same from year to year, so you've now, going into your fourth year in the system, mm -hmm. have an idea of what these teams are like out here. Uh, kind of size up what you think, the, uh, who are the key teams out there that uh, might be a favorite in the league? I, I think it's going to be pretty well across the board. Every team we play, we're going to have a challenge every week. Uh, a lot of the teams graduated kids just like we did, but they're bringing a lot of kids back. I know a lot of teams in the league have been working hard. And, uh, I mean, there's some, there's some good teams all the way across the board. Every week we're going to have to play hard. Now, one of those teams you're going to play is, a, uh, you know, is a, right down the road here, um, uh, Rollins County from Atwood and mm -hmm. and uh, you know Shylin is uh, kind of a combination of Cheyenne County and Rollins County mm -hmm. and yet they're going to come in here with about 30 kids in their roster you've got 13 on your roster how does a small school like this uh, what would be the focus of how you compete against a school with that many kids and numbers I uh, just have to have the mindset that we can do it and we have to believe it and I talk about that all the time with the kids that believing believing in your teammates you can do it and uh, you know we we take one play at a time we talk about team all the time and uh, it doesn't matter if they have 40 kids on the sideline or 10 I mean we're gonna play the same every single game well listen obviously uh, staying healthy will be an, uh, a great importance to you and it'll be valuable to a team that is limited to 11 to 13 kids like yourself right? yeah yeah we definitely got to stay healthy. Uh, the weight room was, we had great uh, uh, attendance this year uh, between 20 and 25 kids every single day in the weight room between the girls and the guys. And uh, I expect that to, we, we will utilize that for sure. All right, Coach, good luck to you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity to visit with us. Anthony Blair, the head football coach of the Shyland Cougars with us here on OpenSpacesSports.com. Reporting from Bird City, Kansas, this is Rich Yett.